GoPros. They're pretty cool, wouldn't you say? I like GoPros. Yeah, there's a few of them. Uh, I have, um, I have, I think, yeah, I have a GoPro Hero and a Hero 4 Black Ooh, Edition. Cool. Uh, I've, I've recorded a, I've recorded a fair amount of stuff, but the one thing, one thing for me, I've never really had anything truly horrifying be found on my GoPro. Yeah, because I've I've left mine out. I had the I had the power plugged up to it, and it ran all night. Mm-hmm. Nothing and nothing really. Ca- I I did to like uh, record like a, a sunrise and a sunset, mm-hmm. and um, it turned out really well, and nothing really creepy happened. But I've heard of some pretty creepy things happening. Case I in point, it. you have. I haven't. Oh, you haven't either. Mm-hmm. Okay, but case in point, Mister Nightmare. Always a fun channel to visit here on YouTube. Uh, he has been scouring the internet, well, he, as he usually does, to find some of the scariest stuff that will keep you up at night and make you think twice about uh, doing certain things. But, hey, we're adventurous types, wouldn't you say? Especially you. You're, I'd, I'd say you're probably the, one of the more adventurous people Am I know. Am I? Yes. You're the one who will go spur the moment and record a wedding and cancel all other plans because those other plans are boring. Am I right? <laughs> well, no, I didn't do that. Well, wouldn't you say you would do that? If, I, if, if your other plans were boring or were like work required or, or were like for work and you didn't have to do them, would you, and someone said, can you come to a if, wedding if with I, me? If I needed to, if I needed to, I would. I've been skydiving. Well, there you go. I'd say that, but I'd say that's more adventurous. I feel like the other one is just kind of irresponsible. <laughs> eh, potato, potato. Anyway. Uh, eight crazy and horrifying videos caught on GoPro. And, oh, as you are noticing, we are eating, so you're going to have to I ignore that. Finished. Oh, yeah, she already, she's quick. I'm drinking. I was going to say, and, and now just quick eater. She, she's a quick eater. And look at, and look at her. She's so tiny. She, she ate probably more than I will. And she's so tiny. That's fries in a sandwich. It's fries in a sandwich. And I've got these. This is normally what I eat, but anyway. <laughs> so... GoPros. We're going to be spooked. Yeah, we're apparently. Spookabo. Well, here we go. I've seen Scooby-Doo. I know how this turns out. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Where Where are are you? you? GoPro is the biggest and most recognized brand of action cameras, which are often used in extreme action videography and part of the connected sport movements. Unless you live under a rock, you've no doubt seen someone wearing one while performing any kind of sport, or yeah. you've simply seen videos recorded with yep. one. Is that Kevin Love? People usually mount no these idea. cameras onto their helmets commonly for recording footage of riding a motorcycle, riding a bicycle, hiking, or like mentioned, playing sports. That's Given an that avalanche a lot of the stunts and activities there. performed by those who wear the camera are dangerous, of course there are going to be some accidents and sometimes downright shocking moments caught on video. However, sometimes the complete unexpected may also happen while wearing one. As you are about well, to see, these are eight shocking moments caught on people's GoPros. I feel like the music is making my skin crawl. In this video, we see a group of four French hikers crossing a suspension bridge in Hawke's Bay at the Lake Waco uh-huh. Rubuena Great Walk. Uh-huh. With a warning sign stating the bridge could hold up to ten people, the four hikers shouldn't have had anything to worry about. Well, about halfway across the bridge, one of the hikers said they heard a thud as a cable on the bridge along the track gave way before the bridge completely collapsed, throwing three of the four hikers into the river 30 feet below. Talk about a nightmare scenario, man. Luckily for the hikers, the river was deep enough where they fell for a safe landing, and none of them were seriously injured. Reconstruction of the bridge has been ongoing, but heavy testing must continue before it is usable again. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should walk across it. This video was captured in Kunar Province, Afghanistan, by a U.S. soldier under Taliban oh machine gosh. gun fire in the middle of a firefight. Dang. The soldier came out into the open on a hill to draw fire so that his squad could get to safety. Jesus. Yo! The soldier was hit a total of four times, and on several occasions, you can hear rounds whistling by or see the dirt and dust kicked up off the ground by the rounds that just barely missed him. The soldier and his squad were doing overwatch on the village to recon and gather intel when they got hit. 
The rest of his squad was pinned down by machine gun fire, which is why he stepped out into the open to draw the attention. Oh, oh I'm hit. man. I'm hit. The soldier's helmet cam died before he could make it down the mountain, but zero rounds penetrated his body armor, and he made it home with no permanent injuries. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I'm hit! Lucky him. The following footage was taken by Mark Roberts, who was climbing a mountain in Snowdonia with two pickaxes when a chunk of ice dislodged above him by another climber hit him, causing him to lose his grip and plummet 100 feet down the mountain. Oh. The footage shows Roberts hitting boulders and ice as he fell down the gully before finally coming to a stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 stop. Ice pick, man. Use your ice pick. Maybe you dropped it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Luckily for Roberts, he got out of this with only a broken ankle. Fellow Worst climbers called slide the emergency services ever. And he was rescued soon after Jesus. by an RAF helicopter. A tourist on a bike tour in a rather rough part of Buenos Aires, Argentina, caught mm. something completely unexpected on his GoPro. In broad daylight, a thief rides in front of his path, draws a gun, and demands for the man recording to give him his backpack containing his expensive camera gear. This is in public view, with many other people riding bicycles witnessing the event. The man with the gun attempted to steal his camera gear at gunpoint, but due to the public exposure, things didn't go smoothly for the thief. The man recording claimed he didn't know what the thief was saying, demanding the mochila, which means backpack in Spanish for those who don't know. And he gives up the bike instead. That's not what the thief wants, so he chases the man down on foot, gun still drawn. However, as one of the men in his group comes apparently to his aid, the armed man seems to back off. The man recording got off lucky in this case due to the given situation with witnesses in all directions, though it is also very likely that the man was waving a fake or unloaded gun. Jeez. Another video captures a kind of similar situation in that it's another armed robbery attempt, but this one has a little more justice. In the video we see a Brazilian biker at first driving his Honda Hornet down a street in a poorer area of Sao Paulo. However, as he approaches a busy intersection, another bike pulls up alongside with the passenger waving a gun at the rider. The passenger jumps off and forces the man off his bike at gunpoint. But before he could ride off with the motorcycle, an off duty cop steps out from his car, gun drawn, yelling at the man to step off the bike and drop his gun. It's kind of hard to see at first, but the armed thief draws his gun at the officer, and that's when the officer fires twice at the thief. Oh, Jesus. This thief, who's since been named Escarante Leonardo Santos, who was only 18 years old at the time, was taken to the hospital for emergency surgery. But you don't draw Santos a gun on a Santos was cop. wounded in the arm and abdomen, and while a lot of people claim he died shortly after, he managed to survive the incident. 18 years old, man. It's no secret that sport rivalries can go anywhere from harmless trash talking to full-on oh, fights and riots. Well, it's a little less known that nah, there's the a Bay big Area rivalry brawls, between Hungarian and Romanian football see. fans. Football, obviously, as in soccer and not American football. <laughs> Hungarians and Romanians. Jesus. 
This following video was taken on a GoPro worn by a Hungarian football hooligan who was answering to the Romanian petards being thrown in the crowds and the provocation of the Hungarian nation. Jesus. Oh shit. Jesus. Wow. This huge group of Hungarian hooligans attacked the security and several Romanian supporters as they were falling back to their sector. After many kicks and punches, three injuries resulted, none serious. This video captured the shocking moment two planes carrying a total of nine skydivers. I remember this one. This was in another 12, one. 12,000 oh feet above the ground. The two single engine planes were in position for a maneuver called a tracking dive, with one closely following the other. You go out of a plane like that, a single prop, or a, even or a bigger plane. Um, I'm trying to think. We had enough room. Jesus. For... Shoot. One of the planes the skydivers went down. claimed as they were getting ready to jump that it seemed like the second plane was getting closer and closer, and all of a sudden they all thought it was getting too close. The impact threw the skydivers out from the planes, who all landed safely. The pilot of the first plane got out alive too, using his emergency parachute, while the pilot of the second plane miraculously landed the plane safely. Damn. And a similar genre of catastrophe. This final GoPro video captured the moment a small passenger plane made a crash landing into the water on the way to the Hawaiian island of Honolulu so close to the shore. Due to an engine failure, the pilot had to take the plane down into the river as steadily and safely as possible as the passengers horrifically watched the ocean fast approaching through the windows. Jesus. That would be some of the scariest... Everybody was surprisingly calm and organized, escaping the plane quickly and sticking together. However, shockingly, despite the fact that everyone made it out of the plane safely, one person did not survive. Highly regarded Hawaiian health official Loretta Fuddy suffered a cardiac arrhythmia, <coughs> meaning improper beating of the heart, while floating in the water waiting for rescuers. I know I missed a lot of good videos, and there were some I wanted to include, but figured they were probably too inappropriate for YouTube. Mm. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. I was expecting some, like, spooky ghosts. I was expecting some like paranormal. Well, he stuff. does. He does mostly horror stuff, from what yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I know, but as I'm saying, like, like horror GoPro. Yeah, but oh my gosh, I'm just sitting here drinking my Dr Pepper the whole time. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting here just. You're like chicken and Chris cuts. Oh my gosh, waffle fries. Yeah, well, I, my my dad always called them Chris cuts. <laughs> I have no idea why. Oh my goodness. But waffle fries, yeah, that that's. I like that. <laughs> but anyway, wow. That was that one right there. Well, <laughs> Oof. that one looks or even worse. Six worth worst deaths at Disney parks. Did you ever wonder why Disney Everyone. tales all end in lies? <laughs> Here's what happened after all their dreams came true no I remember, yeah I know what you're talking about <laughs> cause mermaids are going missing somewhere <laughs> in the ocean blue <laughs> thank you BP oh my gosh <laughs> no that uh, was that's a good one that one's fun that was hilarious that's a good video alright so anyway I know I'm just sitting mm. here just like oof. Oof, indeed. Yeah, I've been but, on a lot of airplanes. I've been skydiving. I've been on airplanes, yeah. 
That didn't happen when I went skydiving. When I went skydiving, it was kind of normal. Hmm. I, went, I mean, I tandem jumped, and in the plane, there was me. Um, I'm trying to think. Tim. So you, Tim was the guy that I tandem jumped with. Oh, you were on the front, and he was... And he was the pretty much the guide for you. Mm-hmm. Ah, um, nice. Well, you like legally, you kind of have to go tandem yeah. until you're certified. Yeah. So, and you get certified by going like a certain number of times tandem, and then taking like a course, and then like signing up for it. But um, that's fair. Mm-hmm. But uh, so I went tandem. So it was me and Tim, and then we had a photographer that went before us, and then he took pictures of us the whole time that we jumped. Which okay. Is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Oh man. But. <laughs> I but okay. I think that the moral of this is if you wear a GoPro, bad things happen to you. Bad things can happen. Bad not, things not bad happen things to will. you. Bad, not bad things will happen. No, bad you wear a GoPro, bad things happen to you. You get robbed. You get shot. You get shot. You, you get. You, you get. You fall down a mountain. mountain. Yeah. And go on the worst slide ever. You go on a slide. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what's like crazy about that is I don't know if I've told you. Have I told you that like I'm looking into doing the PCT? No. Oh wow. It wouldn't be for a while. It wouldn't be for a while, but I'm starting to save up money for it. Okay. It. <laughs> if you're. If you're so up, then you watch stuff like that, and you're like. Well, it's like, I, <laughs> well, there you go. I'm learning everything that I can though. Cause that'd be really neat. You know, what would be really cool is if like I end up doing it and then I see people that know me from YouTube and they're like, what up Wyndham? Hey, hey how you PC- doing? You were on the PCT. <laughs> PCT. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. So <clears throat> I've, I've never had anything bad happen on a GoPro. Um, one guy actually, well, actually, I think it was, um, uh, I saw him do this. You know the devil's bathtub? There's a bathtub that belongs to the devil? No, that's what they call it. It's actually oh. a hot spring place up in uh, 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 in Tennessee. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it, it's actually a place that I've thought about, do, about going. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's actually a real deep section. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like 30, 40 foot deep. Oh, that's and it's cool. in this little crevasse in Oof. this, in this, uh, in, it's not like like it doesn't like I know shake, shake I, in. It, I, it's I'd like get literally stuck. bathtub shape. My, my luck, I would get stuck and it would be. You, bad. It's it's impossible. It's ten feet wide. Oh, okay. So I'd still get stuck. No, the worst thing that could happen is you go down there and you're just like, wow, this is comfortable. I want to stay here. Oh God, I need air. Yeah. And that'd probably be the worst thing. But they have that section, and then they have the uh, the shallow hot spring section where you can actually go in and like r- like leisurely sit. They actually like installed seats. In the uh, in the rock there. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, it, it is cool. I and I'm thinking. I was thinking to myself. We me and me and the guys. Maybe it was some other people. Yeah. You can just go and do that. Yeah. And it, then <clears throat> then you'll take your GoPro. And then the water will miraculously turn so hot that y'all will be boiled alive. Uh, who are we? Frogs. Yes. Oh, we'll be God. boiled alive like frogs, or you'll get stuck in the crevasse. Yeah. Or my big ass would. <laughs> or. I'm trying to think what else bad could happen. You know, you know a, a random to me yeti will come out of nowhere and just you know rip ha- me in okay, half. Okay, you know what's happened to me before is what? I went hiking with a friend. We took and stuff always happens to me when I'm like I don't know why I just bad stuff happens to me. I just have bad luck. I mean, like it's like bad luck coupled with good luck. I've been and there. like uh, we went driving. We took my car to go hiking and drove. Like we went the entire trip. Not a single problem. But then we heard something on the way up the mountain. And I was like, I, I bet we just ran over a branch. Yeah. Turns out we popped one of my tires. Well. So we didn't notice. But anyway, so we finished the hike and then we get in the car and then we're like driving back to the house where we were staying because we were, we were staying at like someone's house because we were out of town and um, get back to the, like get back to the car and we're driving and it's like, oh, let's, you know, let's go get coffee at like a, at a gas station. Yeah. So we park. Go inside, go get the coffee, come back to the car, realize that the tires popped, and we're like, oh, crap. Well. But I have a spare, right? So we start getting stuff out of the trunk, and we're getting ready to change the spare. This guy with this giant truck pulls up, and he's like, hey, do you need help changing your tire? And we're like, uh, sure. Well, it's like him and his wife, you know? So like, Okay, okay. Yeah, we're like, yeah. It was yeah. just him? Well, I was also with a guy, so I wasn't. Oh, it wasn't like two okay. girls. I was with a guy. So, I mean, that would have been okay anyway for a dude to come and help us. But anyway, so, like, then 
We're like, yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. And so they have us back on the road in like five minutes. No problem. And so then we're driving again. And then the spare pops while driving. Spare pops. So we have to pull over to the side, like onto the shoulder of the road. And (laughs) exactly like immediately across the road from us, like in the median. We don't even realize that there's a median. Lights turn on and it's a cop. Woo! And the cop comes and helps and then helps us get into the emergency median so we can sit there and wait for triple because I have triple A yeah. to wait until triple A can come and help us. Yeah. So like it just and then so it's like freezing, <laughs> but we're sitting there with like our hot coffee and we have like all of our layers from our hiking gear. It was like in November. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it was cold. Oh, yeah. Chilly. It, no, it was cold. Okay. It was like back when it was like like below like 30. Oh, I mean, it's wow. not as bad as other places, but like it was cold like like needing like winter coats in some areas of the hike but like we had okay. all these blankets and stuff packed because we went hiking and so just so happened we're sitting there with the cop you know with our hot coffee and our blankets like we'll wait for the triple a guy yeah so bad luck coupled with good luck yeah but okay. like who does that happen to who gets two flat tires not a lot of people i have i've had one flat tire and then i look and i I forgot to get my spare fixed. See, but you didn't get two flat tires. That's impressive. No, no, to no. To get two flat tires. No, no, no. But I, I mean, that's pretty bad too, to not have a spare. No, no, no. I, I've, never, I've never had two flat tires. Yeah. That is impressive though. Yeah. That is very impressive. That's like that's, bad luck <clears throat> impressive. That's like bad luck. That's like bad luck Brian meme worthy. You know that, you, you've seen that bad luck Brian meme, right? Yeah, I need, like someone needs, needs to make like a bad luck Wyndham meme. Yeah, bad bad luck, bad luck, Wyndham Rice. Yeah, it's just like you just sitting there, you just sitting there smiling. Like, I'm like, and it's just like, it's like <clears throat> gets a flat tire fixed, pops immediately after. Yeah, pop spare or something. Pops spare. Like just changes tire, changes flat tire, pop spare. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, people could oh, do that. Oh boy, so I've seen so many of those memes. It's silly, <laughs> uh, but. Uh, anyway. I just like I just like the I just like some of the memes in general. Yeah, like I, where where they originate sometimes too is like baffling to me. Yeah. Where they come from, but then it's funny whenever you understand it. But then who decides when a meme dies? Because I've seen before people are like, oh, this meme is dead. It's really old. No, no, memes never really die. Yeah, but people have said like oh, like Dat Boy. They say that Dat Boy is dead, and I'm like, but who's the boss? Who's the meme boss? Uh, like, it's really the internet who, when the internet yeah, is. But like, in, who decides? Who goes? Hmm, I think that this meme should be dead now. Like, well, who is that person? <clears throat> well, it's it's an opinion. Whenever someone is tired of that meme and their opinion is and their opinion is felt, and then the internet gets behind it and people stop using it, that's when it's officially recognized as dead. Even though someone can have so, even though down the line someone will have a real dinger for it. Yeah, uh, and it and comes they'll, back. they'll pull it off, and, then, and, <clears> and it come comes back. back. And but, it's um, wonderful. I saw something that was like for 2016. They have all the memes that were like popular each month. Because now what they're starting to do is they'll have a popular meme for a month, and like they're rotating, finding yeah. new ones that they can uh, use. I was, was going to say in some of the communities I think, I've seen. I think this month it's the it's the what the SpongeBob one, the, yeah. the caveman SpongeBob one. Yeah. Mm. Like when you look around and you know like. Like one of those, I see, I've seen that everywhere. So I think that's this month, unless it was last month. And I'm just yeah, I, <clears throat> that one's pretty recent. <clears throat> the the meme site that I frequent uh, is called Tickled. Uh, Tickled. T i c k l d. It is. It's pretty damn funny. Uh, they, Tickled. They, yeah, it's it's funny. It's funny as hell. Uh, they're they're pretty they're pretty clean there. Uh, mm-hmm. But every now and again, something sneaks through that's just hilarious. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's one. There's one in in particular that. Uh, it was a long ass meme. It was a it, it was a long ass gif or gif. Uh, I say gif, guys. I'm sorry. I say gif. Uh, it it potato potato. But I'm not going to correct you if you say something different. So yeah, I don't really care. But it but I saw this very long gif and it was uh <clears throat> it was hilarious. It was hilarious. It was a uh, because uh, how how it works is whenever uh yeah. the post gets enough thumbs up, mm-hmm. if if it gets enough thumbs up, then it goes to the hot page, and when it gets to the hot page, it can go anywhere and there's one in particular it was a, a very long gif it was uh lex luthor and uh brainiac from yeah. uh from batman or from superman the animated series and uh brainiac is just like lex i know how to get on the hot page feast your eyes on this and it was oc for original content yeah and he's like and lex is like it's beautiful 
and <clears throat> and you see the count the light yeah. count 29 you have to have 30 you have, back then you had to have 30 likes oh and lex throws up his like and then right then superman comes in and is like lex no <laughs> just trying to trying to downvote yeah. it and batman's like superman it's too late and then it just goes supernova and destroys everything oh and then gosh. there's another one it's spock destroys the computer you know when you see something that is absolute that you just want to unsee this guy flip like his eyes go huge. He flips over his keyboard, and there's a Spock button back there. He hits the Spock button, and all of a sudden, here comes Spock out of nowhere, and he's like, "Let it alone!" Whack, whack, whack! Destroys the computer screen. <laughs> Is some of the fun. Have you have you seen the video? I broke Star Trek. <clears throat> no, I haven't. Oh my gosh! Oh no, 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 no! We're not gonna watch it on this one. We'll do. No, it. no, no. We'll I... react to that next. You have to see that. Um. Just. Uh... We'll, we'll watch. We're, we're watching I Broke Star Trek next. That's like a really old one, but it's yeah. good. We're going to watch that. We'll react to that next. There it is. Uh, <laughs> that's the that's where, it, that's where... You can press that's where, it's five where seconds. it originally came from. Go for it. And originally, like, behind him at the desk, uh, well, like, behind him at the desk, there's this, the random guy sitting there at sitting there in that chair right yeah. there and uh, he's just sitting there and his eyes are like wide like looking up at spock and spock destroys the computer <laughs> so i funniest. like how he just crumbles it press play again <clears throat> well it's a prop yeah i know he's in there playing his heart trying to be trying to trying to be happy and instead they keep calling him back to the bridge and he's like leave me alone whack <laughs> rest in peace Leonard nimoy oh yeah he's so cute <laughs> So a lot of women thought so too. Mm-hmm. It's like, Spock, but I mean, like, not like Vulcan nerve pin. Not like ooh, ooh, shakalaka. I'm talking like ooh, shakalaka, like bounce chicka wow wow. But I'm talking like <laughs> ooh, shakalaka, bam, shakalaka, boom, shakalaka, boom. Shakalaka, boom oh shakalaka, my gosh, boom, do you want to hear a funny shakalaka, story? Shakalaka, boom. Okay, so okay. I was with my friend, and we were in GameStop, and I had Let's just, go to GameStop. I know, right? I had just, just, just so you know, if y'all are dating a chick. And you, when you pass by GameStop, Uh-oh. you have to say, I'm not going to go in there today, I promise. Or you have to ask permission to go into GameStop. Right. It's stupid. You can do better. I'm sorry. Well, okay. I've always, well, <clears throat> I've always dated, I've always dated women who have been cool with me being like a nerd and yeah. all that. And yeah, that's what I'm saying is if you want to do something that you like doing and that's not good enough for them, the fact that you have a hobby that you like and they don't like your hobby. Well, if a woman, well, if, if a woman likes shoes, if a woman likes shoes and demands that you go into the shoe, sh- shoe shop with her exactly. and make you sit there for an hour and a half and just like, then do, she do you can like deal. these on me? She can deal with you maybe browsing around for five minutes yeah. because people don't spend three hours in GameStop anyway unless no. they're talking to a sales associate. Yeah, which that's, that's you long You maybe browse there. for 20 minutes tops. Yeah, I like look at That's a game. what you do because you get what you need and you go and you leave to go use it. Yeah, I look at stuff that I'm interested in. Exactly. I'm like, hmm, okay, exactly. maybe that. But I'm just saying, once I was in a GameStop of my own accord, like I was there by myself, and I was, I was, what was I buying? Was this, was this the, uh, was this the look you got when you walked in? Like, no, because there was actually a female associate there, and so <laughs> she and I were bonding, and she was helping me. She was kind of my favorite, so now I'm gonna go back to that GameStop. There you go. And she's gonna be my bestie because she recommends games for me. Very nice. But anyway, and like that's where I got my member, I got my membership card. Mm-hmm. So now I'm legit. But anyway, like I went in and then this guy walked by and he was with his girlfriend and he said, I'm not going to go in. I promise. And she was like, oh, thank you. Oh, my God. And I was like, yeah, that's what I got. That's the card I got. Yeah, I was just like, yeah. that's so stupid. Yeah, I got one. Except I've got one on my keychain, too. Yeah, but I got that one in here. Anyway, too. Uh, cut to a different day. Go ahead. With my friend in GameStop. And my brother had just been in town and... um. I fell asleep. We were hanging out and he was and he was playing something and I fell asleep. So I didn't see what he was playing. But I remembered him playing Mafia. Oh. But I didn't remember the name of it. Mafia 2. But I didn't remember <laughs> the name of it. But I also knew that when he was there, he played Saints Row. Yeah. But I, because I was asleep, I didn't see what like each one really was. You know, I saw like a little bit, but I didn't see like the difference. So anyway, I'm with my friend and he, and he picks up Saints Row. <laughs> And I go, oh, is that the game where you get in the car and it goes, shooby-dooby? Shooby-dooby. And he went, 
No. What are you talking about? But he was like, he didn't even know what I meant. Like, he didn't know what I was talking about. And then I had to go back and explain. But he's just sitting there like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what had happened was my brother was playing Mafia 2. And he would go around and get in a car. And for like five cars in a row, and he would get in and turn on the radio, it would, play, it would play Pennies from Heaven. <laughs> Very nice. Where it would be like shoopy doopy macaroni. And so wow. he whenever he was done, he was like, I hate the shoopy doopy song. And so then we had to like try to find it, but I didn't know what it was because I'd been asleep. And so for some reason I thought that Saints Row was because because oh, I got gosh. the games mixed up. So yeah, that, like, yeah. So I, I was feeling. like, is that the game where you get in the car and it goes shooby dooby? And he uh, was well, like, what the poop are you talking well, about? Well, that's 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 like for me I when mean, I was a kid. It's a legit question. Oh, it it's is. a legit it question. Is. But it well, was so funny because we're surrounded by all these like really thug guys around us, like kind of judging us, and we're trying to act like we're not lame. And then I'm sitting like, here talking about shooby dooby. Like what y'all talking about over there? Exactly. So like shooby dooby. What the shooby hell? Shooby dooby. Like what the so hell? So now that's like our about? our joke is we're like <laughs> shooby dooby. Shooby dooby doo. Where are you? Yeah, not just that. Joking. We do it. Shooby dooby. Shooby dooby. Uh that's just like me and my cousin Zach. I mean, uh we used to be like big anime fans yeah. way back when. Yeah. Uh our our favorite one, uh he got into it a little bit before me. Yeah. Because he had he where he lived in town he had access to cable TV. Yeah. Whereas I didn't. Um, he, uh, he actually got into it before I did. Uh, there were two that came on and I got them confused and I, you want to know how bad it was? Kinda I bad. was confused about them for about 10 to 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't decipher the difference. Oh, I was no. like, I was like, oh, this. No. And, and the two animes that they were one, it was uh Macross or Robotech as it was known in mm-hmm. its American counterpart. And gun and uh, the Gundam series, Gundam Wing, and uh, and the yep. Gundam my, and my the original friend, Gundam. He started watching all those. Yep. Yeah. So I got them confused. I mean, honestly, they're, they're giant mechs that turn into that like. It's understandable. That Plus, I mean, with Gundam, you've got like it. You've got different versions. You yeah. know what I mean? Like different installments in it. Yeah. So that's like easy to understand that you could get it mixed yeah, up. Yeah, and Macross as well. There's different Macross ones. I mean, there's Macross exactly. Plus and exactly. the, the original ones. Um, but, but you know there's going to be some people in the <clears throat> comments are going to be like, how dare you mix these well, up? Well, I was you watching, the he, was watching Gun, he was watching Gundam Wing one day. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh, is this the one with Min May? And he looks at he's like, just like shakes his head like, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't know. And I didn't know for like 12 years. And then I was like, wait a second. When Min May? Wait, this isn't Gundam? And then, she, and then he's like, he's like, oh, for God's sakes, Nate, it's Robotech and Macross. And I'm oh like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes, Rick, like Rick Good Hunter, job, Rick Hunter's from. Ro- Good job, ah. Nate. And it was like all the pieces fell in line. You know what y'all need to do now is now chastise the shit out of me for not knowing uh, it. You need to chastise, but then you also need to make like fan art and draw him in Gundam. Ah. No, I love Gundam. Uh, in all honesty, I prefer Gundam over Macross, but that that's just my preference. That does not mean that one is inferior to the other. You like what you like. Well, you, know, you just wait. There's going to be people in the comments. Hey, uh, trolls. Challenge extended. Eat it up. Eat it up. Trolls. Troll yo. Yeah, troll troll me. Troll, troll until the cows I've, come I've gotten a few. I've gotten a few trolls. Yeah, I... I mean, <sighs> like, who cares? I don't. Like, I, I reached a point because I was talking to somebody, and I, because they were like, I, oh, oh, you know what? Someone commented on one of the videos, and they said, like, Wyndham has a camel toe. Oh. <laughs> I th- do you remember that one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, they were like, you have a camel toe. And really, like, it wasn't really a camel toe. It was like, I had a crease down my pants. Yeah. Like, there was a crease just down it. I was it just like I was this. Wearing... I got this crease here, and it makes it look like a, it makes it look like I'm bulging, but I'm not. <laughs> And uh, but, I'm yeah. already bulging here, guys. But the thing I don't is, need they anymore. were like, they were like camel toe, because like I just like the the seam in the pants like went along, yeah. and so I just like laughed and I commented and I was like, ha, yes, it is. And they were like, and someone commented back and they're like, I'm surprised that you reacted like that. And I'm like, well, I'm kind of putting myself on the internet for yeah. like thousands of people to view, and there's going to be a bunch of people that criticize because they've they got are. nothing better yeah, to yeah. do. They're going to do. It's so like, what do you do? Is you have a sense of humor about it? Yeah. And I mean, it's kind of like um, I I think it was I don't know if it was during a live feed or what the what I told you about where like I put my foot out and I like dared people to like 
make weird fan art out of my foot <laughs> and one person did they Very did nice. and nice. then they sent it to me and i was like i'm impressed this is pretty oh great my gosh that's uh, honestly or like magic mica like seriously yes that one was hilarious like i'm sorry but you know what it, it kind of like makes our day whenever you make weird it, stuff it does well uh earlier on people like uh were uh sean you know who was with us originally on the channel mm-hmm. um this was before he passed away mm-hmm. uh he uh he hadn't appeared in a while, and people started going back and watching our older videos. Mm-hmm. And someone said, "Who's that fat whale?" It's like he's like, "I love that fat whale in the middle." And I was just like, "And he loves you too, random citizen." Just like, just like, yeah. It's just, and you know, it's cool, y'all. Is it's that like you I said even, that. I don't. I didn't even afford to look at your username. I, just I know, you random citizen. Yeah, and you know, what's cool about that is he passed away. So good on you. Oh gosh. Good on you. And it's and it. Uh, one week from now, it'll be a year. Aww. Gosh, man. Time flies. Yeah. It, gosh, here yeah. we go being negative again. Well, yeah, well, I'm just saying, like, well, the thing is, is, like, people are going to criticize you. People, uh, they always will. Yeah, people, like, people criticize me when I'm on here. You know what? Um, I don't know if it was a friend of mine or someone that I've, I've gotten to know, I think it was someone that I've, I think it was someone that I've gotten to know, like through social media Mm -hmm. and they've kind of, you know, commented and stuff. A lot of people thought that whenever I first, I think I've talked about this before, whenever I first was on here, they thought that I was here for attention. They were, they thought that I was like on this channel, they were like, Oh, you just want attention. You're just here to seek attention. Like you don't care. You're just, you're just, you know, like some, (laughs) (laughs) you were friends with, you were friends with Micah and Ben before I ever was. Yeah. Like, no, friends with them a long time. And the thing is too, is I didn't ask to be on here. Yeah. They asked you to come. They, everybody asked me to appear because I'd started, I'd started a YouTube channel and I'd started my acting career and they were like, I think it would be cool because you're kind of nerdy and I think yeah. you would have fun being well, nerdy with us. That's that's what I that's how this all started out. I mean, I was, it it all started out with me asking Micah and my mom exactly. to come down here and and just be stupid with me on the internet. Exactly. And look what and look what spawned look what from it. Exactly. Look what it's turned into. But people thought that I was here for attention or they'll be like They'll always say that. You know what? You know what's my favorite though is when people comment about how pale I am. Oh, you are fairly pale. Not that. Well, look, pale. look in the, look in the. Oh yeah, that's right. I like blending with the couch. <laughs> right, look, right, let's do a side by side compare. My goodness, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> but, I was gonna say you could really tell I'm part Native American now, can't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Joke. But like, you know, they they talk about like me being super pale. Or I had one person <clears throat> that said, "Ooh, I'd low key smash her." Yeah, and I, I didn't, and I didn't know what that meant. So you oh, know what's, you know what's fun is I had to like, I had to like Google that. Yeah, and I'd have to be like, what's smash. what's low key smash? And I was oh, like, boy. is that like super smash? No, like, and I was like, because <laughs> I didn't know. I'm, I'm it's learning okay. new things. It, it's okay. And um, <laughs> I don't know. You just, uh, I I don't care. I'm pe- people whatever. Actually, in the comments, have tried to ship you and Micah. They've tried to ship you and Caleb, the, and ship wait, you and me as well. I haven't seen anybody trying to ship me and Caleb. Uh, oh my god, I have. A, I've a, seen I've seen people shipping me and Micah, but I've never seen people shipping me and Caleb. But uh, it's been a while since I've been in a video. With yeah, I've, I've I've seen I've seen it uh, I've seen it before, and and, uh, and then people start shipping. It's like it's I've like seen, it's I've like seen, yeah, I've they're seen to, a few. it's like yeah, I've they're totally smashing. And I'm just like I'm just like nope. Try again. <laughs> just, that's a negative honestly it's a negative for like i don't know about what they do in their private lives but i know for me uh, i've i've never i've never what's a good word i've never had that type of relationship uh, with, you've never had a uh, a business a business casual relationship exactly i'm not i what is it where they say like don't shit where you eat i uh, don't don't uh don't shit where you eat and also don't uh uh what is it don't mix business don't mix business with pleasure exactly and, exactly so uh, and honestly honestly uh, if i did if if i if i had time for a girl uh, the biggest thing for me is that this eats up so much of my time <laughs> you don't i barely have time. have time i barely have time to go out. i'm i'm wanting to hire another editor yeah to like take to like take at least one third or a quarter of the work off my shoulders yeah and it's and it's difficult to find someone, and it's easy to do, but it's difficult to find someone who's de- who can dedicate that much time. Yeah, dedicate but, that much time. You know, I've actually had a few people reaching out to me that have been like, "Hey, can I edit some of your videos?" And I'm like, 
I haven't seen any of your work. Yeah. I, you know, because <clears> I've got, I've got my bit guys. I, I have a business email just that, you know, well, but like, go ahead. I have a business email that I set up and I've had people that are like, Hey, you know, like I'm going to be going to school for editing or something. And I'd really like to help you with your videos. And I'm like, that's great. But unless you send me like your resume, like your, your reel. Yeah, like, like show a demo reel of what you can do. No, unless you send me a demo well, reel. Because, well, and this is like sending personal files that you could do whatever with. And yeah. you could like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you could like, I it need to, to know that you're professional. Yeah, and I, and well, the per the person I, I contacted, I've known for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I know that he's, he, he uses the same editing program as me. I'm mm -hmm. actually the one that got him into it. And uh, he does gameplay videos. And I'm just like, it's easy to do. It's just point. I mean, honestly, you do more work on those gameplay videos than I do yeah. for the reactions. I For what I do with the reactions is I, I sync things up. Mm -hmm. I make I edit things out that, uh, you know, aren't needed, that, yeah. tra that detract from it. And that's all I do. And yep. he said, he said, well, man, it, if I have the time, I, I'd like to do a test run, see what see what yep. it looks like. And I'm like, yeah, dude. And if there's things you want to add in, like some of the stuff you do on the game, like on the game, like for some of the gameplay stuff, like he was playing an online match and he nailed a headshot and he did like a, and he'd be like, oh, I'm going to add that to my montage. No one's ever going to watch. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, doing that like yeah, crazy yeah. MLG stuff. And he's like, ah, but not really. I'll just, I'll just keep it, keep it here and keep it plain. <laughs> or will I? And you see stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm experimenting more with, you know, edit, you know, having fun with editing mm -hmm. and I'm, and I'm loving it. I'm loving what I'm doing sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but oh my gosh, it's, <laughs> it, it's just, I don't have time for relationships as much. There's a girl I have been interested in for a long time. Ooh. And she, ooh, yeah, yeah. But is she cute? Ah, uh, yeah, she is. I'll, I'll show her to you. You all won't know who she is, but I'll show her. And yeah, show me, and I'll talk about how cute she is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so, like, last night, I went to go see Finding Dory with a friend, and then um, we were on his Tinder, and, like, I was, like, swiping for him. And <laughs> then I would left, go, I'd go, right. I would click on one, I'd be like, you can do better than this. And I'd be like, eh, she looks a little freaky. And I'd be like, oh, you can do better than this. Uh, that's her in a Gandalf outfit, and there she is. She's cute. She's got good eyebrows. <laughs> that was, uh, that's, uh. Gerard Butler. See, oh yeah, current mood. Bucket of fries. She also likes going out and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Little Stony Falls. Uh, but let's see. That's her dog. Oh, guys, <laughs> I want a puppy. <laughs> I've seen that. Guys, I want a puppy real bad. Just so oh, you know. Oh, look at that, what she found. I want a puppy. Lost treasures. Uh, I want a puppy so bad. <laughs> there she is with her with her friend. Yeah. Uh, they're in acting, they're in acting class together. And, uh, nice. He's like skinny as a rail. There she is at you. Yay. Yeah, she's cute. And I, I've known her for a long time, and I've just. Why haven't you hit it? Hit well, that. Not like that. Not like treat well, her how like you a worded piece of, it, damn it. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, not like sorry. Not like okay. treat her like a piece of meat. But like no, no, hit that up. Never. Oh well, <clears throat> hit that up. Well, Guys. my big, my biggest thing is uh, okay. I'll put this out there. I'm a I'm a pussy. All right. I okay. Of the three serious relationships I've been in, two of the girl. It it's usually been two of the t three times. It's been the woman asking me out. Here's the thing. Is I like am, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I all right. So, I don't really date, just so you know. Okay. Like, the internet will now know, like, I don't really date. And I feel like it's on purpose. I feel like I'm not really supposed to. Because um, I don't really see the point. I did have a date, maybe about a month ago. It, and um, the reason I decided to go out with him was he came into my work, even though I don't really date. He came into my work and was like, hey, do you want to hang out sometime? He had the balls to come up to me randomly at my place of work, like come up to me at my job yeah, and ask me on a date. Yeah. And you know what? It was, uh, I didn't necessarily, we went out. I did the same thing. There was, there was no future there. Like there was no future. Um, and I knew that I wasn't like, I, a few minutes in, I was like, this isn't going to work. Cause I really don't yeah. feel like I'm supposed to be seeing anybody right now. <clears throat> but you know what? What? I didn't say no. Like I went out. Okay. I went out. So people of the internet, like, if there's a girl that you like. Or a guy. There might be a guy that you like. 
seriously, it's not <laughs> worth it. And it's not worth it to sit and wait on it. And my friend yeah. and my friend and I, like last night we were talking and we were kind of, we kind of mentioned how both of us have been in situations where we kind of liked someone, but nobody ever made a comment or went for it. You could miss out on a lot of stuff by not just going, hey, let's have this conversation because this needs to happen. Why the heck not? And the thing is, even if they say no, one of the most attractive things is someone being confident enough to just try it and to go for it. Because I know for myself personally, I'm never going to be attracted or go out with someone that I have to instigate everything. Because I've done that before. I did that before for a really long time where I was kind of the one having to instigate things. Uh, and okay. that's not my job. It's, <clears throat> bo- it's both people's job. Fair and enough. I'm tired. I was tired of doing everything. So my lesson for all the people wanting to go on dates, just ask them. Just go for it. Uh, you never know. Yeah, you never do. You never know. <sighs> well. So we, pro- we probably should Yeah, end probably should end this because we've been wait. going for a while. I know. What, what, what would we start this out with? Spooky was spooky, spooky videos ones? on, uh, I may just split it up and do a, put this on uh, the Faction Channel as a rant. Like rant ranting about on relationships. Relationship rant. Yep, pretty much. But anyway. Relationship rant. Check yeah. out Cute Girl. <laughs> Everyone, thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for uh, uh, sticking through trolling. this with us. Thank for you trolling, for trolling. For trolling with us. And uh, we hope to hear from you all soon. Uh, let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. Also, uh, leave a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out this woman here, Miss Wyndham Rice. Check her out on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, Twitter, Twitter. And we will see you later, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>